After completion of the power and air conditioning setup, the first thing to do is to align IRS, then pre-flight the FMS. So let's get started. IRS selectors to nav. Wait for nav of lights to extinguish. Select index prompt to open the index CDU page. Now select the IDEN page, then check the aircraft type and engine ratings. Check if the air rack cycle is updated. Go back to index page, then select pause to open position page. Check both position coordinates and current airport position are correct. Now by selecting RTE, we open the road page where I'm gonna build up my flight plan as it's shown in the paper sheet. CYYZ is my origin airport. Let's put this in the origin line box. And CYUL is my destination airport. Select departure arrival page. Select departure. My flight plan shows 06 left is my runway departure, followed by a moment 7, which is my standard instrument departure, or SEED for short. Then MIVAC is my transition. From the runways list, select 06 left. Then from SEED's list, select moment 7. Then from uh, the applicable transition list, I will select MIVAC. Select root page. As you can see, the first page is uh, full and complete. Let's have a quick look at uh, our departure sequence. Runway 06 left, BOMET 7 transition MIVAC. That's correct, I'm satisfied with this, so let's step to the next page to complete our flight plan. After MIVAC direct to Avon, direct to Avon, Avon is followed by Alouette 1, which is a standard arrival procedure for CYUL. Then ILS 06 right approach. So let's go back to departure arrival page. Select arrival. From the stars list, select Alouette 1. For the approach, I select ILS 06 right. I forgot to select A1 transition. Now I'll walk through the route page to check for any discontinuity between waypoints. My route looks good. Select activate, then execute. Now, in order to ensure that our flight plan is set correctly, we need to do a quick revision by uh, selecting legs page. Now, for the navigation display, we select plan format. Then you can select your desired range. Now I will use the step line select key to center in sequence my flight plan waypoints on my navigation display starting from the departure airport all the way to destination. The purpose of this revision is to ensure that the flight plan in navigation display looks the same as the flight plan filed in the paper sheet. Now select perf init page. My fuel reserve is 1.2 and my cruising altitude is 18,000 feet. Execute. And this complete the FMS pre-flight.